that you can go. You can okay, so what's the word of the day? Burrow. Hey, hey, it's a word of the day. Burrow. Curiosity Zone is a hands-on science center for curious kids. We offer classes, parties, group events, and toys. We also do really fun family events. Our classes are all about teaching kids to wonder about their world. We teach kids to use ordinary things in extraordinary ways, to look at ordinary things in extraordinary ways, and mostly to ask questions why. We start at age two because two-year-olds are by far the most natural scientists. They're just curious about everything and we just teach them each week to wonder about something. For example, weird liquids. And they dig in with their hands and they can touch and feel a solid and a liquid and some things that are sort of act like a solid and a liquid like oobleck. We don't use dangerous chemicals. We don't use anything that kids can't dig into themselves. Teachers are there to facilitate, but the kids are the ones that are being the scientists. And it doesn't matter that the two-year-old can't really understand, scientifically speaking, what's happening there. The point is to teach them to observe it and to wonder about it and ask questions. When we throw it, it will turn into a liquid. Then our older kids uh, in our big lab program, that's a two-year program as well, and they come in and they do a little bit more advanced science. What biome do you think? The marine. Exactly. Normally, there's a really soft-bodied animal inside. That yep. must mean clams, oysters, and mussels must be in the same family. Kind of thing. <gasps> You're right. And we're we might gonna... do a unit on magnets, teaching kids that magnets aren't just something that you buy at the store, but it's something that actually occurs in nature, and how they can create their own magnets by magnetizing other metals, which makes kids just marvel at, you know, how can that be? How can scissors be a magnet? Yeah. Aren't scissors a magnet? That's crazy. Are scissors normally magnetic? Can they pick up paper clips on their own? We also do birthday parties, which are fabulous. The kids come in and they just get in, you know, in up to their elbows and slime and all kinds of potions and concoctions and solving science mysteries and building robots and setting off rockets. And then we have a toy store where we sell things that we use in class and other things that we hope the kids will take home and continue learning and exploring the world with them. We've gotten a lot of gifts for our kids for Christmas and birthdays here that they've continued to play with over and over again. And you can get that gift that nobody else will be giving them. So it's a great place to shop for birthdays and Christmas as well. Our goal is to create a fun, playful environment for kids to really just uh, expand their curiosity and their creativity um, and, and really feel like they're playing, but at the same time they're developing this powerful foundation in science. Look at this! Awesome! That's the inside of this. Can I have for you? Sure. Which one is this one? A, a rabbit. So is he an insect or a mammal? Mammal. Parents are always so astonished and amazed at how much the kids got out of the class. Um, the other day my daughter was standing outside in our cul-de-sac and she gets up on the curb and she's, you know, putting her sneakers on the curb and, and she wasn't going anywhere and she said, hey look mom, I'm making friction. This is friction. And we, we learned that, she learned that probably when she was three and a half, so a year ago. And she still is applying these science concepts into her everyday life, which is amazing. I'm gonna be here forever. I'm gonna be here every day. Forever? Are you gonna spend the night too and everything? Yeah. Of course. All the time. You hear this dialogue between the moms and the kids, and the mom's like, we have to go. And the kids are like, I don't want to go. That's the best compliment we could get, is that we've created an, such a creative, fun environment for these kids that they don't want to leave. Do. Giraffes are so tall, looks like their heads in the sky. The kangaroos are hover around, you can find out why at the zoo.